Back to this story now. The Utah National Guard, along with the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces, they're hosting a unique commemorative exhibit at Camp Williams through Saturday. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold shows us it commemorates one of the most innovative and daring operations during the early part of World War II, known as Operation Torch. Shed the light on the importance of the Operation Torch, which was a turning point during World War II. Colonel Adil Fishtali is a member of the Royal Moroccan Armed Forces. It illustrated also the role played by Morocco alongside all the Allies, with was supporting the Allied effort and liberating some occupied uh, European countries. He's talking about Operation Torch, which took place over an eight-day span in November of 1942. Operation Torch was a seminal uh, pivot point in World War II, where the Allies were able to um, establish the uh, European North Africa theater, and they did it through an amphibious landing in in Morocco, uh, Casablanca, uh, 30,000 U.S. and British troops. What it did was allow them to Uh, do a proof of concept of an amphibious landing that would later be um, used in Operation Overlord or or D-Day. A unique collection of artifacts and interpretive panels brought from Morocco for this week only are on display in the exhibit at Camp Williams. This exhibit shed the light on the historical relation between Royal Armed Forces and the Utah National Guard which dates back to 1777. Uh, Morocco was actually the first country in the world to recognize the United States of America as an independent country. And uh, our peace treaty with them is the, our oldest uh, peace treaty with any uh, foreign nation. It is accompanied by a small display commemorating the 20 year anniversary of the Utah National Guard and Royal Moroccan Armed Forces partnership through the Department of Defense's state partnership program. For both Utah Army National Guard Commander Brigadier General Joseph Green and Colonel Fish Tali, they say this shows the strong and continued bond between Morocco and the United States. We learn from them and they learn from us. Uh, we help train uh, their uh, uh, emergency, domestic emergency response uh, forces. And, um, and it's just a great partnership. It shows how strong the relations between the two countries are getting day by day and year after year. In Salt Lake City, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.